She doesn't have to die, Peter. You can save her. I promise. You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! And into the great leader I knew you would become! <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Can I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me, and your friends, too. My friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart, I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Maybe we'll finally get to finish that game. Can you feel it? The promise is all around us. The matriarch will reunite us now and forever. I guess that needs replacing. Plugs are like new, so that's not the problem. That was a little loose. Shouldn't be the cause of the problem, though. Hmm. Might need to top off the oil. Peter! Dinner's almost ready! Yeah, be right there, Mom! Meredith Quill, where do you keep your carving knives? Oh, there's one in the drawer, nearest the stove. All I see is a dull instrument fit for a child. <laughs> That's the one. I will have to bring you a Katathian blade on our next visit. They can slice through solid steel. That's very generous, Drax. I just don't know how often I'll be chopping through something that hard. <laughs> I can also supply a few recipes. My wife makes a delicious axe head soup. That sounds hearty. It actually tastes a lot better than it sounds. Our fiercest warriors swear by it. Well, in that case, how can I resist? Hey, uh, Quill, can you do something about your mutt? He won't stop staring at me. No, he just wants to play. Maybe you should take him outside, let him chase you around. Har har, you're just about as funny as this game is exciting. You know, we could all go see a game next time. It's not the major leagues, but you might appreciate it more after seeing it live. I'd like that. It would be an acceptable activity. Yeah, sounds fun, Mrs. Quill. As long as we leave the dog here. There you are, Peter. I was just about to come out and call you again. Some things never change, I suppose. Ah, Peter Quill. Your mother was just telling us about your childhood. Just some of your better adventures. She also told us she had found a suitable mate for you, but you refused to see reason. You've only been on Earth for half a day, Mom, and you're already playing matchmaker? I've waited this long for grandkids, Peter. Haven't you told her about Nikki, Peter? Nikki? Who's she? She is Peter Quill's illegitimate daughter. Your illegitimate granddaughter. Uh, I was trying to find the right time... 
That is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart. I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Uh, Mom, you're squeezing kind of tight. We have so much time to make up for. Let go of me. Stop. Stop <laughs> hugging me. Peter. It's okay. It's me. Peter, what are you doing? I'm sorry. This isn't funny. Put that down, young man. <gasps> I don't understand. I love you, Peter. Please. Oh, please, son, I don't want to die. I'm sorry. Oh, whatever it is, I am so sorry. Please, Peter, I just want to love you. Now, Peter, while it's distracted, we can reach Nikki. I need your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon and I want everything to be perfect. Perfect? For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Dad? Dad? Uh, honestly, kinda. Are you kidding? Dad! You promised you'd help me surprise Mom for her birthday. I, I did? Yes! You said you'd help fix the hollow projector, and the cake still needs candles, and I can't find the present we got her. Right. <laughs> 